Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Bible says, according to Colossians 3, verses 2 to 3, it says, Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. Hallelujah. And according to Romans 8, verse 5 onwards, it says, For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit, the things of the Spirit, for to be carnal minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be. So then those who are in the flesh cannot please God, but you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he is not his. And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Amen. See, in the book of Romans, God makes clear that evil is always right there with us. Even more important and more powerful, God also makes it clear that if we belong to Jesus, then the Spirit of God is right there in us. This means that in the very presence of evil, the Spirit is at work to give us life and to set our minds and our body on the living for God. Hallelujah. So that is an impressive comfort. God does not save us and then leave us to live this out on our own. The Spirit is working in us so that our body, the very members of which we might at times give to sin, because dead to sin and alive to honoring God is what we do. Hallelujah. See, but of course, we need to cooperate with God in this. We can't just sit back and say, go for it to the Spirit and expect God to work it all out without our participation. This whole business of belonging to God is one of partnership as it has been from the beginning. Where does that start? Paul mentions the mind five times in this verse. Our living to some degree follows how we focus our mind. So if we want our life to reflect the one to whom we belong, then we need to pay attention to where we set our mind. That's why it's important to take time to read and reflect on God's word. Scripture and prayer help to align our minds and gives us Christ each and every day. Is your mind set on Christ today? Let us pray, precious saints. May God help us to walk wisely and to live free. May he remind us daily to set our minds on him. May he give us the power we need to extend love and lights to a world that desperately needs his hope. Let us pray, precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We come before you today, Holy Spirit. We want to set our mind on what you desire. Please live and work within us that we may focus on and align with Christ in all we do. We ask today as we confess our need for you. We confess all of our sins before you and ask you to wash us with your precious blood today. We enter your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise. We thank you for all that you've done for us, for saving our souls and for making us whole, for our homes, for our jobs, for our children, for our 
spouses for putting food on our table. We give you praise because we know that you are able. And as we journey through this day, we ask that you continue to guide and to protect us, that we may have the mind of Christ and protect our loved ones and keep us covered under the blood of the Lamb today. Heavenly Father, I pray for each person that you would touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Release your anointing balm upon them, your anointing oil. Lord, that it may bring healing, it may bring freedom, it may bring breakthrough, deliverance today, whatever their need is, that their focus, that their attention will be above on the things of heaven heaven today. Give them the grace to overcome all obstacles within life. Lord, I thank you that you will touch them, fill them with your anointing, with your power, with your glory today. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. I just have some words of knowledge here today. There is someone that has an issue with cardiovascular or fibromyalgia. Any issues that you may have in that area, I want you to place your hand upon your chest right now and receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. If there is anybody that has any issues with skin cancer or any melanoma on your skin, I also want you to place your hand over the area and get ready to receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody that has numbness in their hands or their feet right now, if you can place your hand upon that area and God is going to bring divine healing to that area right now in the name of Jesus Christ. If there's anybody that has hay fever, if you have hay fever or suffer with hay fever and it's coming upon you right now, I want you to place your hand also upon your chest right now and get ready to receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, God is no respecter of persons and he wants to heal all today. If there's somebody with a panic attack, you've had panic attacks and God is going to heal you today in the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone here that's also sprained an ankle or sprained a bone anywhere where that is and the swelling is there. I want you to place your hand upon that area and receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone that has also suffered with the issue of marriage delay. I want you to claim it right now in the name of Jesus Christ that every blockage will be removed from you in the name of Jesus Christ right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Anyone suffering with the issue of diabetes and any of the effects that it's also had on your organs or also also the other parts of your body. I want you to claim your healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone with oppression, meaning you've been oppressed for a period of time and God wants to bring healing to you right now. So I want you to claim your healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Any areas that needs and requires a creative miracle, I want you to place your hand over your area of any deformities on your body, anything to do with your hairline, anything to do with any issues of your body that needs and requires a creative miracle even um, you know distorted or coloration issues with your skin where you have patches of different colors on your skin I want you to place your hand upon that area and receive your healing also right now in the name of Jesus Christ Heavenly Father I pray right now Lord I pray right now anybody with the issue with their breast or any lump or any cancer or anything that has been said or spoken about or any fear that you have I want you to place your hand upon that area right now and receive your divine healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. All back pain will go, all shoulder pain, all neck pain will go right now, all headaches will leave you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command them all right now. You will come under the obedience of Christ right now. Any head injuries, if you've had a head injury or if you have an issue with balance in vertigo, I want you to receive also your healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray also with anybody with any issues, with any issues within the stomach right now, place your hand upon your stomach right now and just receive 
receive your healing right now by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, come and touch your people from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now. Come and touch them, fill them, fill them, heal them, deliver them today. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also go to our Facebook page and follow us there and also Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. Forward it to seven friends that they may subscribe, especially in the up and coming fasting that we have got. So I just encourage you to read. There's so much information in the program of that. If you haven't read it yet, then you need to read it because everything you need to know is in there. Some people ask me questions, but they're already answered within the program. So please take the time to read it and prepare you and your family if they're going to participate. Why don't you just start with this and see how far you go? It doesn't matter if you do one day, three days, then great. You can participate. Just participate. And even if you can't do the fasting all the way through, continue with the prayer program itself that you may receive all the blessings. Remember, we are living in perilous times and we need to draw closer to the Lord. And as you read the program, you'll understand exactly why and how everything works according to his plan. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.